so awesome. There's um, she's a straight up skateboarder, and she's been taking class with me and becoming a badass. Connection is bad, Jesse. Do you want to call? Do you want to log off and log on? What do you want to do? I. Oh, or we can. What do you do? Much of reverse grip stuff. A little bit. Um, okay. Okay. Cool. So you know what's up with that. Do you? Um, let's see. You do straight cuts, right? You know your straight X's. Bang, bang. Yeah. And like, what I like like to emphasize. I have to go like this because there's a wide angle. I like to emphasize is like not being small about the motions. Like I like to be big because it's I'm, I'm a film fighter. So like the style, like movie dough. So just being big, right? So I'm so, I, and I'm also thinking about what am I killing the zombie from his neck to his hip when I do that slice. So I try not to do like, you can do these small things if you're like feeling like chilling, but I think about like, yeah. and I think about the relaxing and the exhaling. So I'm like relaxing and then I'm relaxing through this. And then right when I get about here, I pull from the core and exhale. Yeah. Again, you got all that strength. So it's like, you know, combining your fluidity, right? You can like flow those X's and then every so often you can be like, and then make it sharp when you're training. So boom. And then these, these little over the head flower things, right? Like what are they for? You think about what are they for? They look pretty, but then also you're blocking someone, some zombie or some bad guy who's like in the back of you going, blah! Right, so you're also blocking them at the same time. So there's some power and energy in that and then bringing it down with gusto and taking a lower stance. So you're like, lower stance, blocking someone. Yeah, she got good stance. Everybody look at her legs. That is what I'm talking about. So that basic move can look with, you can be with like fire by relaxing. It's like the whole like relaxing. It's the same thing as, Dancing, you got, you know, um, whacking style, Jesse, the whacking style. So no. a lot of wha whacking is like being loose, right? And all of the, your arm coming from the core. So if I just do this, that's from my core, right? So then if you do this, that was from my core. And that's like whacking style. So the same thing when you're martial, doing martial arts, you're like loose, right? And that's how you can drill and get the lines right. The lines straight fast and then you can, Relax, 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 and then engage your muscles. <laughs> and squeeze your butt. Always squeezing that butt right there when you're cutting. Yeah, yeah. Because I can teach combos all, like people can make it, we can make up so many routines and stuff, right? We can do a basic routine, right? But then to make it look exciting and strong is to slow up, vary up the speed and then put in accents, being slow, Accents, slow, accents, fast, you know? Yeah. And exhaling. Are you breathing, Jesse? Sort of. Are you no. breathing? <laughs> You're not breathing. She is not breathing. I've totally um, done that too. <laughs> so, so that's why in my class I'm constantly like, <sighs> by the yeah. way, um, you should come join sometime just I for the heck of it. Because we do work, we do a lot of just basics. Because my goal in my class is to help everybody, all the females, there's a lot of females, but there's a occasional men who drop in, to look strong with this death, deathly crazy weapon. Because we can be like, you know, Tai Chi about it. And you can do a lot of like, you know, restorative movements and still got a lot, get a lot of benefits. But then I love to tell them how to emote emotion and drama and strength because what am i really doing when i'm chopping this what am i really doing i'm slicing a bad guy yes i'm slicing a bad guy zombie through his here out here what am i doing when i'm doing this i guess are you going like well you're not going through their head are you yes i am i am totally going i am fully just with, I, and I'm not just like cutting off the cut from here. I'm bringing that blade all the way so I have as much power and strength as possible. And I'm fully down to the ground. My entire core strength, everything, my leg, I just dropped that whole thing. I'm splitting 
that bad guy right down the middle so he's two parts go you know <laughs> that's what i think of when i do this like ah, you want to slice them through the middle of there so you see the inside nasty same thing what am i doing here cutting off their head no because i didn't do it with enough um, emotion and drama oh. now what am i doing yeah. <laughs> right then i was cutting off their head uh, yeah. yeah. Same thing. If I'm just like, huh? do you believe I'm cutting them through the neck? And if I'm like, yeah. then yeah. I'm like, that is like, I, my intent. What I'm am off. I thinking of? Yeah. Or this one too. What about this one? From down here. <laughs> right. <laughs> what am I cutting? Your hip through there. Yeah, totally. But then all of that is obviously you can become chill about it and I don't want, I want to be a lover, not a fighter. I just want to do this, you know? Um, let's see. Can we do, do a question? I know. Yeah, we can make a combo. Ed, but can we like add little pieces and put two? I've always wanted a sword form. Oh, gee. Well, I want to make a special sword form for you then. You know what I mean? Like I want to, I want to choreograph a sword form and then we like meet privately without all these people watching. Or, I mean, I guess we could do a little bit right now. But I'd want to spend some time because I know you can do, like, awesome kicks to add in the kicks to that and whatever, flips and kicks and, like, reverse grip, gainer, flip, boom, land, <laughs> things like that, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, but, yeah, like, right now we can just do a simple one. Yeah. You, pre you, pretend, you pretend you have a scabbard. Do you have a scabbard? Okay. So, <laughs> here we go. So you put that scabbard, do you have a belt? Well, that's okay, you don't have a belt today, we're going to pretend, but since you're, I know you have carpet there, what you're gonna do is when you first do this draw, hilarious, if you put that through your shorts, because the point is, Jesse, once you pull that out, that can't be in the way of your moving, moving around, right? Yeah. Right, so, so you want to put it somewhere where once you draw, it's like somewhere that it's not in the way. And you can still kill people, okay. kill zombies, right? Yeah. So if it's, if it's weird there, then for this today, you're just going to ditch it like I did in my recent video. So you're going to okay. draw and then ditch it, like throw it out, like dramatically, like, yeah. Okay. I think so I, you'll be. I think I can do this. Yeah. So that's another practice. See, I totally looked at putting my katana back in and you're, you're supposed to like work on like not looking at it like that. See, I looked at you guys the whole time and I put it in. It's a whole nother practice. But for now, for today, um, I'm not sure how yours is, but mine sticks so that it doesn't fall out if it's all the way in. So you just prepare by pressing your thumb a little bit out like that. And then you're going to draw dramatically, right? So you're going to stand with this foot in front, whichever foot is comfortable for you. Yep. And then you're going to, like, get it ready to come out because, yeah. And then you're going to go... <laughs> That's your first slice, and it's, yep, and then ditch wherever you, did you ditch it? Ditch it. Yeah. Just ditch it dramatically, like, what the hell? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Done. Yeah. And that's the first, so that first draw, you have to be intentionally, like, I am cutting them from the hip to the, the neck. You're like, what the heck? <laughs> yep. So here we go. So you did that. Boom. You ditched it. You're going to grab here. Step with that back leg. Boom, Slut over the head uh, block, cross, slice down, cross, down, slice down, and step forward. Yep, that's easy, right? You're gonna go one, two, three. From here, you're gonna uppercut, four, five, easy. So two down, boom, boom. Mm -hmm. so you got one, pull out, one, and make that drama too. Make that like a little bit longer than usual. So you're like, Wah! Because you just killed it, and now here comes all the other zombies. You're looking around. You grab. Here comes one zombie. You block. Somebody's coming behind you. You're, you're, like, slapping the zombie in the face. And then here comes another, slicing him down. Here comes another one. Boom. And then boom. Yep. For now, today, the Instagram viewers are the zombies. You can direct everything to them. Oh. You got <laughs> slice, dramatic. Look at them with an the evil, like, I'm going to kill all of you guys. Grab it. Slice through the neck, another guy comes, slice through the neck, boom, get low for that one, low, boom. and then when you twist, 
squeeze that butt right here, right? Low, boom, squeeze that butt. Yeah, and then other side. Yep, okay, and then we're gonna do side to side. So you're gonna flower here, or block, whatever that is. Block, bring it down to your shoulder, straight across. Cut this guy's head off to this side. Block over here, and cut this side's head off. Yeah, okay. easy. Yeah. So Down. we got one. We'll go slow. This is slow motion Tai Chi style. One. Dramatic look. Step in. Cross two. Over the head block. Step three. Undercut, uppercut. Four. Five. Head block. Shoulder. Head cut off over here. Look over there. That guy's dying. Look over here. Head cut off. Boom. Then you're going to look forward again. Bring that up. Right, step in, boom, bring that leg up, chop him down the middle. Like, oh wait, the camera lost me. Here, I'll move back. Yeah, so chop him all the way down the middle. I'm like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Then you're gonna step up, prep to a 60 40 stance. So, this is what I look like on the side 60 40 stance. And then I'm gonna stab at the camera and then pull it out of his throat and look at him like bleeding. Right? <laughs> I love that I can say all the story behind what my intentions of the slice is because you understand. Cool. And I love that you're telling me like where to look because I sometimes forget that when I'm doing choreo. Yeah. Yeah. Like and that's why when I teach a choreo or if, we're, or if we're doing fight choreo, like what is the intention? And especially now when we're practicing at home during quarantine, there's no real zombies. So you, now we back to the eighties and nineties and childhood of when we had no TV and we had to be like, here comes Mr. Oh, Whatever, you know, not Mr. But here comes Freddy Krueger. Ah! Here comes Jason. Ah! Ah! You know, so here we go. He's simple, simple cross routine. Let me not look at my, here we go. All right, so I'm not gonna ditch mine, but she is. So you're standing here and actually you're just chill like do do do. You might have your hand on here. You're like do do do, I'm so cool. I don't even need to prepare. You see bad Instagram follower number one, get ready. Pull it out and slice and kill him. Right, here comes another one. Yeah. Another one. Boom. Uppercut. Boom. Boom. Shoulder cuts. Boom. And other side. Good. And then you're bringing it up. Slicing down the center. Down the center. Yep. And then stab him in the throat. Pull it out of the neck. Do one of these. You know the little flower thing. Yep. Flower thing, but what am I doing when I do that? You know, you're splashing off blood. Yes, <laughs> love you. see, Jesse is a real ninja. So yeah, you pull out his neck, throw blood, and all the other blood. Do the little uh, flower on the outside. Get that blood off, and then put, you don't have yours, so you just pretend. You can pretend, yeah, pretend and do this motion, and then look at them and walk off, <laughs> or whatever your choice is. Like you look at them. And like, ah! you know, <laughs> easy peasy questions, anybody? But yeah, your eye vision, like, you know, we just directed those at the front, but you could, with that same core, you could pretend the guy's off to this side of the camera and then the other guy's over here. And then this guy's over here, bang. And it's good spatial awareness to learn with the camera. This guy's over here, boom. And here comes a guy behind me. Here comes a guy to my right stabbing. You know, like those simple six movements, you should practice in every direction just to like, for your brain to be like, where is the guy coming? You know what I mean? And take your time, never rush. What do you think? So that's how to train, I mean. But to, we'll make a cool like sword form for you. Creative sword form with all your specialty high kicks at this angle. One of my life dreams. Yeah, totally. And we wanted, I wanna do jujitsu with you again. You and Michael again someday. <laughs> Say that again. That was so fun last time. That was so fun. And my shoulders are going to be healthy enough that I can play harder. Yeah, how do your shoulders feel now? They're really because there's the cool thing about jujitsu is there is so many. I love that we're in here doing katana, but I'm talking about jujitsu. There's so many moves that you can do in jujitsu without killing your shoulders. And like, as long as your partner is like nice and gentle, you're okay. But this, actually, for your shoulder, this is like great. PT, you know what I mean? 
Great PT. And also if you, I don't know how many katanas do you have, but like, I know XMA ones are kind of light, but if you get a heavier one, you can start, you know, if it doesn't hurt your shoulder, you can do drills. You won't even realize you're doing PT, but you're working on your shoulder. I've got this. Strength. Plastic. Yeah, that one's heavier, right? It's yeah. heavier. So all of this stuff, we're just doing one arm, right? Cuts, boom. This is all great PT. Boom. You know what? Actually, doing the sword stuff and working my uh, extensors. Yeah, your forearms. Helped with my tendonitis. Oh, the elbow tendonitis thing? Ninja, when we do so much gripping this way. Yeah. Bad tendonitis here from yeah. over those muscles but by oh developing my goodness it's dang it. that's awesome so you think this is helping you yeah yeah because you don't realize you're like doing this you don't realize you're working out <laughs> it's so fun that's why i like it i like to distract that i'm working out yeah so yeah and then when you when your shoulder feels good there's like a couple different chops with chops where you're like a 90 degree or a block right or this kind of a chop where you let it go mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> Off. there's always like a bounce yep and then this one's really good for shoulder and then you know what i do i use my other arm too because oh. you got to even stuff out i know and then i even do this double hand stuff with the other arm i yeah. try to mirror for my students <laughs> yeah so that yep so that to, to them it looks like this is their right arm so they mirror right yeah. but this is my other but it also works out your proprioceptive um, movements, brain, body connection, and works out your right side of your brain. So you're activating the creative side. So it's really good to do all that. To flower with this side too is a straight sword stuff. Boom. Hilarious. You guys, you have a lot of fans. Yep. Mm -hmm. All of that stuff is good for your shoulders, relaxing. But yeah, I also had shoulder wear and tear too from when I used to be a break dancer at the same time as doing all the wushu it was like all the weapons yeah and she is doing flowers and then yes. does anybody mm -hmm. beautiful and you can also do any of this like touching the blade on the dull side when you're doing any of these like boom blocks 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 i teach stances in my class like horse dancing 60 40 it's like kung fu style stances but helping them move through, you know, that high stance, blocks, blocks, front stances with blocks, um, and you draw. There's so many things though. So yeah, you look great. And then just throw a flip in there. <laughs> throw an aerial. And when you aerial, just stab out this way, boom. So when you're like, boom, aerial, right? Right, because you take off your right leg. Yeah. Right? So you just go. She's going to try it right now in her gym. I'm going to turn this way. Whoops. Sorry. <laughs> try this. That way, if, if we miss, then we have the reflection, too. Oh, I love it. Yeah. You got a big old me around. I miss your place. Bang. So, yeah. So, okay, okay, wait, wait. First, do this. First, do a one arm cartwheel by stabbing like that. You know what I mean? I don't know if I have space in here. Yeah. I have space in here. Like, so that the whole time my, my sword was like poking at you guys. You know what I mean? Because I know like normally you throw aerial like this, but if you stab this way, yeah. Let me see. You take off your left leg or your right? Oh, your left. Oh, butterfly. Yeah. Just but butterfly kick it up. Yeah, and then see that left hand? That as you're doing that, stab it for, is that your left hand? That's your left hand, right? Left hand is free. Oh, shoot, so I'm seeing a mirror. So as you're doing your aerial, when you come in here, stab this forward, right? Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? It does. Because your aerial is easy, so you just stab it forward. I'm, I can't aerial. But I'm seeing Carwell. Yep. Let me see. Boom. Oh, yeah. Chamber. You know when you do this turn and the, your setup turn? Boom, boom. And you're hurtling here. 
you're hurdling here, right? In uh -huh. your hurdle, before you go, chamber. Chamber yep. this so you're getting ready for a stab. And then you go for, as you go for the aerial, boom, stab that arm out. Yep, there it is. I'm going to try it without the sword for a second. Totally. I'm afraid of, like, hitting walls. You can also put your hand down if you feel, yeah. Well, that's... You, you can put your other hand down just to learn that's... what your first, your stabbing hand is doing. But that's great. Thanks. That's a good yeah. one. I'm, I just have to be that's... careful, like, dynamically putting an arm oh, down. Oh, that's the shoulder? It's your both. Your left shoulder. Oh, it's both. That's right. So yeah. don't put your hand, don't put your shoulders down then. But just think of, yeah, practice without the sword and then just do one of these as you go. And then the side shot of it, it's going to look cool because you'll see this come out as you're aerialing. Yes. You'll get that. There's so many. And like, you know, like how you do hook kicks, right? Yes. You know how you do hook kicks? Boom. At the same time as a hook kick, then the, the last thing that comes through is your blade. Boom. But you chamber. Boom. Slicing through the head. So you whip him in the face and yeah, and then cut their head off. So what are you thinking about, right? Slap him in the face and then cut his head off. So that second cut, yeah, yeah. Practicing that. So if you want to just chill, you can just do that too. Slap. Their head off. Up. Oh, yeah, on the day you're gonna like, boom, hook kick. <laughs> like don't forget the important part is cutting the head off. Yeah, well we should cut the head off first. Oh, so, we could do that. And then, you're right. Okay, so then we could do that. Then we go head, spin, hook kick, and then you could cut the next zombie's head off. You know what I mean? So cut the head off, kick the head off, and then cut, cut him back the other way then. Cut the head off, kick the head off, and then catch him the other way. That's crazy though. Or if you can do a hook kick that kicks up at an angle, right? Cut the head off. Hook yeah. kick at an angle so it goes up. And then over here, it's flying over here. Wham! And then you cut the head in half in the oh. air. See, guys, imagination. Cut the, yeah, like a high one like that. And then see, the, it's over there. The head's over there. Yep. Yep. So it, you'll probably follow the head. Boom. And then boom. You can, like, slow motion it. I love so that. fun. <laughs> I mean, that's what I think about sometimes when I'm doing or I mean I also think about like breathing moving through the motions the, if my elbows are out like you know if I'm doing these stabs and what do I look like when I stab am I looking weak like I'm, am I looking lazy am I looking lazy on the stab am I looking strong I'm really stabbing him in the chest pulling that blade out every time you do a stab you're not just pulling the blade out lazy you are like stabbing me in the whatever stomach and then ugh, there's yeah. all this blood right there. Yeah. But yeah. Um, yeah, guys. What else? Hi, all my, 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 a lot of my students came in. Everybody, this is Jessie. She's awesome. Awesome. Ninja. Real life ninja. Stunt woman. All that. Actress. I have a dope garage, but this is actually like, my... Wait, haven't seen... Oh, yes, I have. Wait, did you guys change it more so that you can do like vlogs and all that? Oh, man. Actually, our garage looks really good. We turned it into, like, a podcast studio. Yeah, I saw the beginnings of it. Oh, The lighting. Yeah. And I came over that time. It was awesome. Yeah. I love it. Michael, where are you? Dang, I'm going to stab you. I'm going <laughs> to choke you out. He, he doesn't appear on camera. He doesn't like I know. Me. Well, well, if you can hear me, I'm out for your blood. My oh, he can't. Okay. No. <laughs> puts, like, the ear. Oh, okay hilarious but yeah we could do it'd be awesome actually to do a jujitsu one for fun i mean it would be jujitsu film fighting you know yeah one, for somehow i don't know how we would do it because it's so small screen but it would yeah. be fun tough love from pepe hilarious that's right i don't like people who don't show up no just get <laughs> <laughs> show up and support <clears throat> no i'm just kidding Let's give Michael my love, and um, oh, if anybody wants to come and play Ninja Swords with me, we do, we're doing, actually, we're training two types of swords, but with the goals of just learning all kinds of swords movements, so that when you pick up a lightsaber, it's really fun. So I'm teaching on Wednesdays, like, straight sword basics, so a lot of flowering stuff, and then on Thursday is katana, which is a lot of two-handed stuff, but we're doing some one-handed stuff, like what we did today, and then... 
wait, sorry, did I say Thursday? That's Thursday is Katana. Tuesday yeah. is Bow Staff, Ooh. which is what usually is the first um, first weapon that most people. Ultraviolet sword, that would be amazing if somebody could give me one. That would be great. Yes. Uh, I am. Do you have a lightsaber? Because I have a lightsaber from Ultra Sabers. It's pretty awesome, but I am in search of a uh, flow saber at some point because it's good for flowing. I have a glow staff. Let me oh, you do? I want a glow staff so bad. Steve That's from Three Ball Climbing sent it to me. I, I'm i not sure. So awesome. Oh, that. my gosh. Let's play because uh, when I get back to L.A., I will turn on the – I'll go into my gym. You still haven't been over to my – I have a gym studio too, but it's more of a dance studio. But uh, yeah, glow. We can play with our glow stuff and do some sword stuff. I don't have my staff with me. Just to review, you have staff lessons. Staff, straight on sword slash lightsaber, and then katana, which is also to help lightsaber. So when I get back to LA, I'm going to pull out the lightsaber and turn off the lights with the neon. I have that Tron room and then do some lightsaber fun time stuff. Okay, so, but you have classes Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays? 1.30 p.m. as of now. So anybody who's interested, you can DM me, uh, and I'll send you a link to sign up or whatnot. That's so cute. What do you do when they ask you to go live with you and you're already live with someone? You can't do three people, can you? No, nope, I can't. I try to do one person live per session. <laughs> Thank you, actress Katrina. Katrina. One of my students, she's promoting my classroom. Thank you. You're awesome. She's bad. At, you know what's really awesome is meeting new friends. Um, a lot of them are stunt people. Is that you? Is that who is? Darren! What the heck? Darren! Stop. Stop. <laughs> oh. Stop, Darren. You Stop. almost got me like mad about that you were Michael, but I'm happy to see you, Darren. Uh, no. Guys, Darren right here, Bailey. What is your Instagram again? Darren Bailey. Bailey17. Yeah, he's mm -hmm. awesome. He's also a director, actor, action guy, producer, singer, amazing singer. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is an awesome glow staff. So what, what brand glow staff is that? Is what? No, the Jesse's glow staff. What, what brand is that? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. For me, it's like there's a tube inside. Oh, did he make it? Is it a PVC pipe with a glow and you have to like put it in the sun to make it glow or? I actually have no idea. That would be amazing. I need to get one because I have like my, you know, if you see my roller skate, my roller skate wheels are glow. Oh God, I got to send you a video. Yeah. I, I'm like so hype on my glow wheels. I've been rollerblading. So oh, they have them for rollerblades too. They have the, the wheels for rollerblades also. Glow, LED glow ones. I'll send you a video. It's so entrancing that I don't even wear my normal wheels anymore. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. So you have to get those and then have the staff and then just rollerblade around. Wait, I didn't know you rolled it. Wait, do I know you rolled it? That's awesome. Oh my gosh. So, so thing I had, I found my very first uh, stunt resume collage. So it had yeah. like, uh, but then some action photos on the side. Hilarious. There was a photo of me in rollerblades on a half pipe. Like, dumb. no way. Dude, you were that person? You did no. that? But I was like, how did I get this photo? I don't even know how to do that. <laughs> You, you obviously you did some, you're like, I'm just going to do this photo. Yeah, I padded up with everything I had. And I was Hilarious. like, and did it for one photo. And so then, wait a minute, did you get a job rollerblading? No, no. And <laughs> been honest That's about so here's where my skills are. But on that day, I was like, I'm going to become an amazing rollerblader. Rollerblader. Hilarious. And I was in college at the time. It was my first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And you never did a rollerblading job. No, no. <laughs> oh my God, it's so funny. No, I'm not good enough. I've, yeah. Unless I did a crash. I've done yeah. a couple. Like <laughs> I, I feel like I've done one rollerblading non-union job with Matt Shadden, where somebody like rolls past me out of control and then I fall over. That was fun. That was the only thing though. Like, cause I used to rollerblade in the nineties a lot in New York City as a form of transportation because I didn't want to be in the New York City freeway or subway freeway, subways. And I, I loved getting around New York City that way, but taxis would always try to hit me. Always. Like, it's crazy. Yeah, they would like honk. They would yell like racial slurs, like, get out, roll, chinita, whatever. Like, crazy. Yeah. Oh it was God. 90s. Mm -hmm. Time out. Um, happy birthday to Colt. Happy birthday, Colt. 
love you, Darren. Darren's back. <laughs> so he just like appeared and then left and then went back online. Okay. I was live streaming from the pool and he attacked me with a shark. Oh my, wait, is that going to be on, is that going to be in your IG lot? No, it gonna be? was like last week. What Oh, so you already posted it. Wait, like what kind of shark? It's like cool. Okay, that's pretty <laughs> He surprised you. Wait, you got to come swimming at my house. So I have a pool, a big pool that I'm actually letting very close friends come over to just hang out, private sessions, and taking donations like toilet paper and cleaning products because there's a bathroom in the back. Yeah, and floaty devices or whatever you want to donate. But only close friends. And yeah. it gets cleaned once a week. So it gets cleaned and there's a gardener who blows all the leaves if you're, if you're down to go there because I'm not there yet. I'll be there soon, but I'll still open it up when I am back and I'll, I will quarantine. Like if people want to be in the backyard without me being there, I can also quarantine like that. Maybe yeah. we shouldn't tell everybody. Probably not. But only for you, special friends, special friend. <laughs> <laughs> Use your staff. Use your staff. Poke them in the eye. In the, in the eye. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you should bring that over to my house and swim. That would be hilarious. Uh, uh, chummy. Oh, nice. Wait, mm, cute. You can um, bring him over and, ri and take a ride and float in the pool. And there's a trampoline, so you could flick, flip from the trampoline into the pool. That's great. Yeah, it's like an eight-feet pool, but it doesn't have the automatic thingy like you guys have, but it's bigger. Oh, the cover, you mean? Or Oh, yeah, no, the cover. No, the... Um, the machine thing that you have so that you can run in there. That's fine. I have that. Yeah. Have a <laughs> cool option. Yay. Wow, everybody's inspired by your operate. Wow, operation video. So you had both shoulders operated on? Well, okay, so it's a weird story because, like, I'm, I'm going back and telling the story of how it started in November. Yeah. But in November, I got injections mostly into and like a couple tiny ones into my shoulder because I, right. I didn't you got PRP injections um stem cells oh yeah wait I saw you read the I saw you read before that yeah yeah um but your I, own stem cells too right do a ton of them and because I got this job on the titan games I wasn't gonna yeah. have to build from all of it so we did like the bare minimum and so now I'm telling that story of leading up to the titan games but after oh. the back and had the rest of them done so now I'm recovering from I think there were like eight injections in my neck at least seven in my right shoulder at least four in my left one in each elbow so I left the doctor's office just I couldn't move my head Rolling. yeah 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 wait so that was in November it's December January March um six months now the last round of all the injections was eight weeks ago oh how does it feel now pretty good so I actually today I believe today is the day that I get permission to try a pull up for the first time. And wow. I will experiment with that right now. I, hey, do it. I Did they say I, that the injections are just for pain or for like regenerating ligaments? Everything's a partial tear. And right. so by injecting stem cells into the torn yes. parts, it could fill Heal in. the tears. Yeah. So, I had stem cell too in my knee. Yeah. Was it your Remember? ACL? Yeah, so I've had it once in 2013, and then I had it last year as well before I saw you. So I really, I feel like it really has helped a lot. It's less invasive. Here she goes, y'all. Jackie Graff for her first pull-up in eight weeks, or wait, six months. Wow. And she looks pretty cool. Wow, she did it with ease. That was easy. Was that easy? It was amazing. So would I have, I have a cable pulled out? And built slowly. I hadn't I hadn't been up to Munchies. I think I'd made it up to hundred now. Wow. Okay. I'm like one forty, so that's still mm -hmm. a huge difference. But um That's amazing. Wow. Dude, I do I believe in stem cells. Hey, where did you go to? Because one of my students just got stem to, cells too. Um where did, first one I went to for just the neck and the shoulder was uh, a place called Ortho Healing. In oh, I, I know about that. Is that Culver City? My neck felt better within a week. Yeah. Um, and then wow, I was... Wow, that's fast. But it was um, 
but the appointment ended up being the day after all the the lockdown and no more elective surgeries. So I had to go somewhere else and it was such a scramble to try to fi find somewhere that would do it so that I would be able to heal during the quarantine. Oh, wow. To Regenex, which is actually where they originated the procedure. Yes. So they injected straight into the bulging disc in my neck and then just like everywhere. Was, is Regenix the one in um, Orange County? No. Uh, in where? Where? Denver. Oh, oh wow. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Cool. I'm so glad you did that because I do believe in that other than surgery for sure. For any of you out there, I believe in stem cell. Monkey! Come here. Come here. <sighs> Look, it's Jesse. It's Auntie Jesse. She's got stuff all over Munchie. his mouth. Munchie Falcor. Yes. Say hi. Say hi, Munchie. Say hi. See, he's saying hi. <laughs> Say hi. Say hi, good boy. Say hi. Look, she's doing a pull up, everybody. Woo! Woo! I'm so glad. That's awesome. Very So, exciting. shoulders and neck, huh? That's witness, everybody. Stem cell is going to be amazing. And it's supposedly, as, you, as time goes on, it's supposed to keep healing better, yeah. too. It's supposed to feel better and better. Was that your first injection, too, since starting November was your first time? Or you've done that before? Um, first time in my neck and shoulders. Ah. I had done, too, a couple of years ago. That's awesome. Way to take care of yourself. I wish our interns paid for it. Yeah. <laughs> I really wish. Maybe someday. What's up, Gio? Gio. Hi, Gio Corvera. So oh, classes. I'm you like, what? I used to do his classes like Tuesday. I went to, yeah, his fighting classes. G.I. Jesse. That's rad. <laughs> You're dressed up as G.I. Jesse. Oh, I was just wearing my cami outfit yesterday. You were? Dang it. Well, Sean Tarney's supposed to be making mine. He always talks about it. Oh, he's supposed to be making you say to be making my chun Lee outfit. Yes. Oh, we need to do a fight. We do. So everybody, six years ago, Jesse and I talked about doing a chun Lee versus Cami fight. And we even met up one time six years ago and started <laughs> training. And then just life. <laughs> she became an American Ninja Warrior. Life, job, this and that, moving, whatever. But now we live closer. And now the quarantine happened. So we'll still have to somehow plan. So. Now, now I'm healthy enough that I can start actually practicing her moves again. Okay, so. cool. Yeah, her crazy yeah. moves. Yeah, heck yeah. Well, we can do it our own style, too. We don't have to be exactly. It's just a fan film, you know? Um, we should do the reaction video challenge. The reaction video challenge? What's that? Oh, you mean with, with Tammy and that's funny? We can do that, like a whole fight. I, like a we fight over quarantine. We can talk about that, guys. Yeah. When I, when did you do do your first pull up? That was just now that joy grows within. She just did her first pull up right now. I mean, it, at least since the procedure. My since first the procedure. Seven. When you were seven years old. Yeah, I did a pull up competition. At like. At school. No, it was uh, my my grandparents' lake house. They have sports week, so uh -huh. like about random competitions and one of them was a pull-up competition and another one was chin-ups so my first attempt was during that competition um that's awesome and you were seven that was yeah. my <laughs> and I got seven pull-ups um that's amazing well I remember when I could do like 10 weighed like when 30. I was like 11 you weighed like 30 pounds yeah yeah it was I think I weighed 40 something pounds when I was 10. So I can't oh, even I can't even remember. I was a shrimp. My my weight did, was it with my grade. Did all the boys like were they scared of you already at the age of seven? Like, dang, that girl does seven pull-ups. She's gonna beat me up. No, oh, because I was so tiny. Once I kicked a bully, there was like this girl that everyone was really mean to, and the bully was like whipping his his jacket at her, and she was like on the verge of tears. So I ran up and I just like, ah, like round kicked him in the stomach. Oh and my gosh, you did. You, you are like, you really are a super girl. But so the funny thing is like, he turned around and looked at me and went, 
did you just kick me? Like, he wasn't sure that it happened. You mean he just was like, oh, and it didn't even, like, hurt him? Or he was hurt and shocked? It was more like, what just, like, did I just get, like, oh, this? Oh, man. Pounds, and I probably weighed six. Dang. <laughs> it was, so it was like, ding. It was, and it didn't, I, like, I thought I was just super strong, but I did not have any math. And he was yeah. so didn't do anything about it. He was just like, did you just kick me? And I go, yeah. He was like. <laughs> That's awesome that you had the intent to back up this girl that was getting bullied on. I love that. <laughs> Has that, have you ever had to do that in real life yet? So like street fight or like say something to even stop. Me neither, but like there was one time, one time that I saw a husband and wife me and my best friend Wendy were like going out little skirts dressed up to go dancing like vintage swing dancing downtown and we hear this car screech up woman gets out of the car we hear her we can't see it gets slammed like screaming she we hear her get slammed against the car and I was like oh heck no I park my car in the middle of like the drive whatever the driveway parking lot and I get out and I see her running away from the car and she's in like tight mini skirt high heels crying screaming She's like running away and then this man starts to go the other way to follow her, to meet her at the elevators. So I run towards the elevators and then he like right as he's pulling up, he's like getting out of the car to like, you know, go grab her and I stand in front of him and I start screaming like, oh, like, I can't swear over internet, but I was like, like, don't ever dare talk to him and have like just going off on him because I was so pissed that he was whatever threw her against the car and that he was going to try to get, he's like, get back in the car, get back in the car. And she was standing behind us crying, like shaking and crying. And then he's like, she's my wife. Get out of the way. There's nothing to do with you. And I was like, don't ever treat a woman like this. I don't care who she is, whatever. So then he gets back in his car. Like he could have pulled a gun. He didn't have a gun. Thank God. I quickly look. I saw there was a camera in the garage. I look at her. I'm like, leave. I'm like, run. And so she runs goes down the elevator and he like drives off. And so then we had to report to security that, you know, hey, look in the cameras because maybe you can get his whatever. But what sucks is if that is his wife, like maybe that's something that's going on. However, it was like another woman rolled up. So there's three of us yelling at this guy, like ready to throw down in our in our vintage night outfits. Right. But like but I feel like us yelling at him stopped something because he was like going towards her. So that's the closest that I've ever come to like actually getting involved because it, that stuff pisses me off. It yeah. makes me so angry. I can't believe it was like in public too. Like he definitely like slammed her against the car a couple of times. She's screaming, crying. And we were like, Oh my God. And at the time I'm taking a break right now, but at the time I was doing active Gracie Jiu Jitsu like three times a week. So yeah. I was like, no, hell no. I was like, what the heck is up? I am ready to choke whatever kick everything something yeah anyways but um yeah it's not cool yeah I hear right now too during quarantine there's like a lot of like domestic violence going on because people are like at home a lot yeah. not sure if that's true but I, I have heard that it's been tense it's very tense so you guys should be working out doing yoga meditating yes yes I I have started doing that not so much the yoga but not so much yoga, yoga, but you're doing PT, PT. Yeah. Yeah. Cause okay. yoga, you, yoga is like, you're not doing yoga because it's like, you don't want to like outstretch your things. Oh, no. Like overstretch. I just, oh, it, you could do, you could do like, um, wow. Let me recommend, you know, that thing, the whole stunt open fit thing that like Caitlin, Michelle, Michelle, Michelle Jubilee, Amy Johnson, um, some stunt woman and I was involved with too. Uh, it's called Open Fit and it's a workout fitness program. You can do 14 days for free and they have a rough around the edges workout, which is like made by stunt women workout. And um, Anisha did a dance workout and who else? Tekla, she did an awesome, it's called Open Fit. And then um, they have an awesome yoga program too. So you can like do a 30 day or a 14 day yoga program. And the way it's shot in the voiceover is just so awesome that I've been doing all of them over quarantine. That's one, or there's like yoga works. There's so many on YouTube, but I really like the open fit one because of the production value and the programs are professional and they're good. 
and you can push yourself as there's like level one, level two, level three, and you could push yourself as far as you want when you do yoga. Yeah, great time to self reflect and grow. And link to that in a story, and I'll repost it with the yeah for the, sure. I can I can definitely put a uh, link to it. In fact, um, the other day I did the Ju Michelle Jubilee's. Um, it's called core incinerator workout. So it was like a lot of core, but you're sweating. And uh -huh. she is so funny and so enjoyable to watch because she's like makes jokes, but she gets you hyped. And she does this move called the leprechaun. And some, and you're like, she's like, you basically bring your like this, and then you do a burpee or whatever it is. And she's like, if you don't feel weird, then like you're, you're doing it wrong. Yeah, <laughs> it's so fun, but she makes it fun so you don't really realize anything else. But um, yeah, I'll put that in the link. Ooh, yeah, go, Jesse. The other thing is somebody, one of my students was like, hey, if there's an online fight, I want you in. Jeff Marshall, one of my students is, he's a stuntman in Atlanta. And he um, he said that somebody should do a Disney fight thing. Who would I want to be? Yeah, who would you be? I mean, I would be Mulan, of course. But I'm but like maybe maybe I could be someone else, too, like. Maybe we'd be the exact opposite of people think you should be. Like, maybe I should be one of the, the white princesses, like Cinderella or something. Maybe, or like the red-haired one, Brave, what's her name? Brave or something? No, that's not Disney. Rapunzel. I would enjoy being. Oh, I, of course you do. Sorry, I just blew. Jeffrey, that is your idea. But see, we can talk about it, though, so it's get people hyped. But yes. Jeff was like, I have to trademark that idea. You should, but I think it's so funny. Why hasn't anyone done it? It'll be awesome. Plus, he has an awesome costume. Um, crowdfunding. Wasn't it Vlad? Crowdfunding for, um, oh, that one. Yeah. It, what was it called? Princess Diaries? No, what was it called? Princess. Um, Grim Fairy the thing with Grim, Yeah, with uh, Amy and. Amy and Nikki did a fight. Yeah, you, you would be Cinderella. No, that was wasn't that Sleeping Beauty versus Red Riding Hood. I think that was like the first one that they shot. So yeah, but he was gonna do more, and then I I should ask him what happened. I do remember asking him back then, and I think he just didn't raise enough money because it was like yeah. high production value. But I thought it was an awesome idea. I thought Amy and um, Amy and Nikki did such a badass idea. I mean, they did awesome performances, and it was a badass idea. It was pretty cool. I think I would want to be... I, I want to do a female Hercules. Female Her Yes, you should totally be a female Hercules. But I then I want to be a female Gaston. No, wait, wait. No one's sick as Gaston. No one's rich as Gaston. No, 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 no. Whatever, I can't remember what you know when next is incredibly thick as this yeah that one hilarious right you know, no 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 or i'd be the female aladdin oh i love <laughs> okay jeffrey my student down there is like let's do a uh, whatever later hilarious <laughs> okay stay tuned guys for the reverse thinking he wants to be maui though um yeah i'm gonna go help so william my boyfriend we're out here and he's shooting his thrasher video part uh he's been for three years so he's working on one of his trips today so i'm going to try to see what's up with him and help him out with that thank you so much for teaching me today and let's let's of uh... course i'm going to make you a form it's going to be so fun yes yeah well we'll talk and we'll meet and talk about it and talk about what little things you want to highlight and it'll be it'll be a cool challenge to do over we can meet on zoom um we can do it over zoom but it'll be so awesome to help you make a video yeah, that's what I love doing. Hi, Jesse. Hi, Melanie. Melanie's awesome. So Melanie is from Philippines. Is one of my she. You know her? I knew she, her when she lived in Brooklyn. I went to her apartment. What? Oh my God. What? Dude, I, she is awesome. She wakes up at. She wakes up at four a.m. every day to join my class. Like when she joins is like nighttime, and at the end of the class, the sun has just started to rise. It's pretty epic. Yeah, she's dedicated. Wow. And I love seeing them all like it, like get inspired and then improve and stuff too. Yeah. How many people are in your classes usually? Random. Like in the beginning, it was since like it was just like free for all, you know, it was like sometimes 25, which was kind of too much. So now today that there was a solid 10 and those 10 are people who have been like contacting me, um, 
privately and also been coming to the class for seven times or six times or as many as they can. And they, so they're like the dedicated hangout. And they're also like new friends, which is awesome that I never met within the stunt industry. So that's what's been awesome because I don't know everyone, you know, even though we've all been doing stunts for like 15 years, you don't know everybody. So it's been cool to like meet new girls that are like inspired and talented and well, all yeah. different cuts and sizes. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for having me, Jesse. We'll talk soon. Yay. Bye. Bye, everybody. How do I get out of here? Oh. Okay. Um, I had a couple questions earlier asking about my max pull-up record. So in season nine, which would be like three years ago, I got up to 40 once. That was my, my record. I hit it once. I could never do it again. So I was consistently in the mid-30s. And then... Um, and just couldn't hit it again and then had like the shoulder injuries and tendonitis and everything. Um, and then after the injections and I'm going through that story of, uh, when I started rebuilding, I was working with a physiologist from game ready and we did so much scapular stabilization and neurokinetic resequencing. And somehow like in a couple months, we rebuilt to the point where I was able to beat my record just this March, I got 43 in one set. So that's like, I do like 25 and then shake out an arm and shake out another one, but like stay hanging from the bar. I can't do it right now. So I got up to 43. So that's my new record that I got this March. And now I'm going to be building back up from zero and trying to beat that very gradually. But hopefully, hopefully, let's see, my goal is like by August to be beating records again, which is kind of a lot. Um, how many pull-ups am I allowed to do right now? So basically, I am now at the stage where I don't have any specific limitations. It's just, um, it's just no more than a two on the pain scale. So as long as I'm not having pain, I can keep pushing and building strength. Uh, but if I have any pain, then I have to pull back. Um, and <laughs> you asked for a bicep flex. Funny story. My biceps are now the same size as my forearms because I've been training by uh, forearm strength and haven't been able to build as much bicep. Um, but I think it's about time for me to head out and start my workout. So thank you guys for joining me, and I will see you again soon. Bye.